Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. It is an off-week version of Freaky Friday, the podcast daily. And for the first time ever, Ohio State's quarterback, starting quarterback, Kyle McCord, has decided to join us. Kyle, we don't really talk about football on this show. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be okay with that? That's good with me. Okay. So every time that we see you, Mm -hmm. you are so serious. There's This is like one of the first smiles I think I can remember (laughs) seeing. Uh, What is it that you like to do if you're turning off football and the all business approach that is pretty much all we ever see around here. Yeah, uh, a lot of golf, uh, especially out here, um, especially in the summer. I mean, good way for the guys to go out there and kind of compete a little bit with each other, talk some trash, and uh, it's always a good time when we get on the golf course. Is that what you have planned for the off weekend? Yes, sir. Where are we playing? I don't know. We'll see. Merrifield Village, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Just need need to pull some strings (laughs) for that. You can uh, make that happen? Yeah, no, we'll see. I guess that is the difference of being the quarterback. Yeah, I hope so. That's within reach for you. Okay. Uh, Are the Yanks going to win the Ryder Cup? Mm, I hope so. It's going to be close. Okay. It's going to be close. All right. Does the quarterback have to pay for everybody's round? Does, does that work? Like taking them out, Shoot. to taking linemen out to dinner. Nah, I mean, we haven't played in a little while, but uh, I'll take the linemen out to dinner. But uh, <laughs> I don't know about covering the round fee. We'll see. What What's the best place to take linemen out to eat? Mm, man, Roosters is pretty good because I mean they'll load up on some chicken <laughs> and have a good time, watch TV. So well, that's good because Roosters is a big sponsor of the podcast. Oh, so look great, at that, great for the yeah. plug. You're doing a great job with that so far. Yeah. How? So when you are away from here mm-hmm. and turning football off as much as you may be able to. I don't, yeah. I don't know how much that is. Yeah. Does day-to-day life feel different for you than it has in the past? Um, yeah, I mean, going out in public and, you know, obviously getting recognized a little bit more, uh, you know, people coming up and asking for pictures and autographs, but it's cool. I mean, that's kind of, you know, one of the things that you dream about as a little kid playing football, you know, hoping that uh, one day, you know, I'm going to be that player that, you know, kids look up to. So kind of see it come Full circle, it's still a little uh, surreal and new to me, uh, but it's definitely pretty cool. What's the most unique thing that you've autographed so far? Mm, man, <laughs> um, shoot. I would probably say uh, like a, someone's uh, like hard helmet, like a construction hat, <laughs> autographed that, that was pretty cool. Um, so I, that's probably up there. Is that is that attention? I don't know if anyone ever gets truly comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Maybe you are, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, I think, you know, everybody that's, you know, I've interacted with in public has been really cool about it. Obviously, you know, Buckeye Nation is, uh, you know, everywhere. So, um, you know, they, they've been really cool and respectful about it and supportive, you know, along the journey. So uh, I really haven't had any problems with it yet. I know that the quarterbacks more than pretty much any other position, they don't want to turn off the film. Mm hmm. But you have to sometimes, right? You need a break from it. Yeah. You know, Ryan Day's talked about the ability to, you know, turn the switch on and off at times that you can't, you don't want to yeah. wear yourself out. If the film is off, what what are you going to watch? Man, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a big sports guy, so I'll watch, you know, the Phillies or NFL, whatever's on. And then, you know, just turn on some mindless TV, Netflix, whatever, and just kind of, you know, just take my mind off of everything. You worried about the Braves then? <laughs> the best team in baseball? No, I mean, shoot, we'll see. I mean, who won the, the NL last year? So... No, that was last year. Yeah, no, I mean, hopefully Bryce Harper and the fellas can come up clutch again, so keep going for him. Is that, Phillies, is that the most passionate fandom you have? Yeah, I mean, I'm really, I mean, at this point now in the NFL, I'm really just rooting for the guys that I know, um, you know, guys that I play with here. And, um, you know, basketball, I'm not too big on, but the Phillies are the one team that, you know, I'll follow and, you know, actually care about. Did you play a lot of baseball? Growing up, I, I wanted to, uh, but my parents kind of made me play lacrosse to make their schedule easier to <laughs> mend with my brother, uh, so I didn't really have a choice there. All right, so one thing that we always have to figure out is what guys are listening to right now. Mm-hmm. What's in the headphones? With, if you yeah. get to pick the celebration song in the locker room, what, yeah. what's going on? Uh, I mean, before the game, uh, like early on in the morning, like Bob Marley, something slow and relaxed, um, you know, just kind of laid back. And then after the game, Oh man, probably some type of Drake, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, that's that's what I listen to to kind of get me in that mode. Meek Mill, another good one. Do you, do you feel like with an off date, like you want to be completely away from the game? Mm-hmm. Uh, I know last week was so physical, and we were talking in the lo- or outside the locker room. Like that seemed to be a physical toll on you to get through that game. Like, yeah. Do you just want to get away from it for a little bit? Uh, I think yes and no. Um, you obviously, uh, after a game like that, when you're so locked in for an entire week leading up to the game, 
um, you know, it is good to kind of take a step back and just take a breath. But at the same time, you know, you just want to be on top of things, whether that's getting ahead on the next opponent, watching the film from the last game and making corrections, getting treatment on your body. Um, so I think, you know, just kind of balancing the two of those. If you've got a few NIL partnerships already going, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly you're supposed to come bring me some row back. That's a deal that we've got. Is there, a, is there one out there that you haven't got yet? An NIL partnership that you really want? Man, NIL partnership that I haven't gotten yet. Um, I would probably say uh, like a, probably any uh, golf club okay. in Columbus. That would be there. That would be a good one. I haven't gotten any free golf yet, so that's one thing. That's hard to list. believe. It is hard to believe. Even I get some free yeah, golf. Yeah, I mean, and I'm, I'm not the I'm quarterback. Not, I'm not on your level yet. I guess that's <laughs> what that means. I'm not on that level. Okay. Well, I mean, you're shooting for Muirfield. Mine is the Ridge Golf and Gardens. If you've not played out in Marysville, we'll get you out there. I can get you. All, I definitely can get you there for free. Yeah, so I like it. We'll get that. Uh, I like it. So come join us there on Sunday morning. But you know, that's he's got better things to do with his off day. We appreciate Kyle McCord jumping on with us for a couple minutes on the podcast daily. Stay tuned for more, sir. All right, joined now by Ohio State linebacker Cody Simon, the world's most serious man. We're gonna see if we can get some. There, hey, there is no, a smile. Yeah, I knew a, that you could do it. There's always a smile. There's always a smile. I mean. It, but you are always you seem like you're always so professional both on and off the field when you're with us so there's got to be a lighter side what do you ever turn off the football part what do you do when that's off yeah no i, I definitely turn it off um i mean it's it is such a big part of my life though I'm, i i can't lie but um you know I, whether it's hanging out with my buddies or you know um just with my family you know it's it, i'm always i'm always open to have fun it's <laughs> when i'm out when i'm in the woody it's it's serious time and it's and we got to win games so it's that's the job. Ah, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I want to see that other side. Like, it's not football all the time, but you said even before we came on, like, I'm better at the football questions. Yeah. Why? You know, I, I mean, it, it could be sad, but I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, my life, my life has been around sports, and you know, it's I've always had my a lot of my my uh, best and most exciting moments in sports, and so I, I can't I can't lie and say that those aren't some of my my most my most proud moments in my would bring my family together the most and so all yeah. right so you have an off date you may have some time that's you're you can't play football this weekend yeah so you're with your buddies your family what do you want to do <laughs> so i guess watch football well, come on answer. cody come on <laughs> no um I, I think my dad's gonna be coming up to town so i think we, we might play some golf or something but uh um other than that you know really just recovering and um i, li I like to watch like uh, cooking shows. Okay. I like cooking a lot, so that's definitely definitely one of my best things. Grilling is, is really fun to me, and you know. So you I'm, think you're a good chef? Not enough to get on one of those shows, <laughs> but but I can I can cook some some good stuff. Okay, what's the best thing if we're going to Cody Simon's restaurant here, Barn Grill? <clears throat> what are we What are we slinging? Well, I'd probably say I, I cook some good steak, okay. but I also cook a good uh, chicken sandwich. I had some some breaded chicken. I back in Jersey, we we I had a lot of subs, a lot of Italian subs. So I can make some a chicken cutlet with uh, some good sides. Ooh. And, yeah, so I, 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 that's what I do like though. Okay. Uh, now you also mentioned you might play golf with your dad. Are you a good golfer? No, just a recreational fun time golfer. I'm recreational okay. at best. Okay. Right. But it's it, it's a great time, and you know, I it's not a lot of impact on your body. Some, you're staying outside and. It's sometimes fun to get away from your phones and your TV <laughs> a lot, so that's why I kind of like that. You have a favorite course around uh, Columbus? Uh, Willow Run, actually. Okay. Just because price wise and it's not far. So. Did Did you think about getting out of town at all? Going to you know maybe watch your brother, go home to Jersey. What's How do you decide what you want to do with your off day? The The only the only other option I was going to do was either go to Virginia Tech, but I I think it's important to keep your body rested as much as possible. Um, you know, I, I would want to go see him play, but it, it's, you know, it's sometimes it's that flying and yeah. getting back and forth. You don't want the pressure on your knees and stuff. So um, I'm definitely going to be watching it. So I watch all most of his games. All right. So we know what you're watching. We know that what you're grilling up. What are you listening to right now? Oof, music is not not your thing. Well, not right now. OK, because, uh, you know, I just don't really find a lot of time to. But I mean, I do. I've been getting into Getting in a little bit of, of Zach Bryan, though. I do like his music. Yeah. Um, but other than that, just Drake and uh, Drake and Lil Baby are probably my, my two favorite. Those are a little bit different genres there. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've tried to expand expand my, my, my horizons. And uh, like every Sunday or every Sunday practice we have, we listen to a little bit of country. So 
it's 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 going on me a little bit so Co yeah coach day said this summer that he was into zach bryant so i was wondering if he just forced you all <laughs> oh, no, no, to listen no. to it it started last year <laughs> okay but, but definitely definitely he's got he's got some really good music you got tickets for next summer coming to the horseshoe <sighs> i i think i have to find someone to, okay. to give me you might know up. somebody yeah i might right, know somebody cool. all right well, okay all right, Cody Simon, he's, we got him away from football just briefly, and now we're going to let him go back. He's going to go turn on the film <laughs> yeah. and enjoy the rest of his off day. But, Cody, we, we appreciate your time. Sweet. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, thank you to Cody Simon and Kyle McCord for their time. A light week for Ohio State with the media availability. That's fine. They've earned, earned a reprieve from that. Uh, and then they're off. They practiced, yeah. Bill, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They had Sunday and Monday off. The way this typically works is guys have the opportunity to go home if they want. It doesn't seem like many of them want to do that. They want to stick around. They, uh, they're they feeling some of that uh, routine building. Um, and also, you, you mentioned earlier in the week, like it's a four and eight situation. They may, they may not have wanted to get out of town at this early point. But anyway, they'll be back to a normal practice schedule. They get a plus one there sort of opportunity on Sunday. That's the way Ohio State manages the off week. Yeah, and it, it does feel like more and more over the last, I want to say, like two, three years that guys typically stay on the bye week now it's hard right especially if you live anywhere farther than like a four hour radius of columbus like or is jt toy mobile gonna get on a plane and fly to seattle for like 35 hours and then come back to columbus i doubt it i would like to know who is making the farthest trip in, in the shortest amount of time like is enoch Mahi gonna just jet over to hawaii real quick and then come back ryan day did the, did the flight to, for, for, to recruit enoch he flew to to and from hawaii on the same day might enoch do the same thing what, what was it 2019 i think it was berm and i went out to la during the off week and we were doing interviews with uh, court williams uh bo collins we were out there like one of those worked out better than other the other for <laughs> ohio state but like uh and then spent a lot of time with cj uh before his commitment but we were out at that game at st john bosco and wyatt davis was there we interviewed him at halftime like that was a long flight. Yeah. He was only going to be there for like 36 hours. Like, <laughs> crazy. why did you do this? Like, I had to come get some in and out and see my family. It's like, oh, maybe, I respect that. Maybe okay. they should have come. But, yeah. But that's one of the last like long flights for these guys that I can remember. I think they realize that they've got it pretty good in here in terms of foods all taken care of. You can prep for next week. Uh, if you need physical therapy treatment, any of that yeah. stuff like it's all here yeah I, i'm sure guys are probably wanting some of that treatment after the notre dame game too so so it makes sense but i would fly i hate flying i would fly 36 hours to, to la for in and out i think no come on it's a good burger man maybe not maybe you not. don't have to that's a little crazy there's one down the street from my parents in texas now so you just no, just go there just instead. go there instead where's the closest and then you can go to the green Hall. Okay, that's better. Okay, not to LA. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's what you can get on a Freaky Friday. Really <laughs> weird conversations about where Bill would go. Like, we're we're going to Grove City. That's it's beautiful Grove City. Yeah. Um, what what else did you think Ohio State had to accomplish during this week? Anything? No, I, I think it's a, good, it's a good time to look at some tendencies, obviously. That's what a lot of teams do in, in the off week. But I think for as good of a win as that was, right, and we're not – Again, we're not taking anything away from it. Win however you need to win in a game like that. There are things they need to work on. Like they got to figure out a better short yardage play, not to not to beat a dead horse. But um, I, th I think that's probably a focus of this week. You're not going to get overly physical in these practices. Maybe it's more talking about ideas than it is actually practicing them until you get back for, to prepare for for Maryland next Saturday. But um, whatever they feel like they need to work on. Um, there were third down issues earlier in the year. It does feel like they've gotten a lot of that kind of fixed on both sides of the ball, which is which is good to see. But obviously, want to continue to improve there. And then I also think too, are, we've talked about this. Like, are there younger guys on the defensive line who might be able to help them as mm -hmm. we get deeper and deeper into the season? I think this could be a big week for guys like that to to kind of make strides as they as they eye a little bit more playing time. Yeah, as much as I've talked about the rotation, and there's some of that still existed on the defensive tackle spots, but like. JT and Jack Sawyer, I said they needed to play until they puked, and neither one puked. So, and JT back was, out there. He was still fresh for that last drive, but yeah. But then asking them to play every single snap is probably too much. Like I, I will concede that point. But if the argument is they can't do it, I think JT did prove that they he can. Yeah, uh, it's not. It's not that. It's not whether they can or can. It's just like can you protect against that situation again if you feel if you feel like you need to dip into the depth like i think at the moment it's pretty clear that there there's a gap in i don't know a confidence for lack of a better term between like the top two defensive ends and the top three defensive tackles and everybody else in the defensive line room 
And it can, can anything be done this week and moving forward to close that gap a little bit so you can play a handful of guys or even two or three guys like five snaps a game to make it so that JT and Jack don't have to play every single snap in every big game. All right. Wrapping it up here on a Freaky Friday with just a little bit of football. Hope you enjoyed the conversations with Kyle McCord and Cody Simon as well. I appreciate those guys joining us for a couple minutes. That's going to do it from the Woody Hayes Athletic Center during the off week. Back to a normal schedule uh, next week with Tuesday. Ryan Day and Jim Knowles, players on Wednesday. Ohio State and Maryland in eight days. Uh, for Bill Landis, Kyle McCord, Cody Simon, I am Austin Ward. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you later.